What's going on YouTube once again? It is Nostalgia Boy and I am back with another video as promised. Yesterday's video was from the baseball section of the vault. The day before was from the basketball section of the vault. Today we will be hitting the gridiron and showing you a classic jersey from the football section of the vault. Uh, at one time, this was the hottest jersey in the game. When you see it, you will understand why I made that statement. So, let's see the jersey. Here we have it. Your 1963 San Diego Chargers Lance Allworth jersey. Uh, this jersey is just straight fire. It's straight classic jersey. Mitchell and S has been making this jersey since they started making NFL jerseys. And the color, the blue with the yellow and the white, you know, the bolts on the sleeve uh, makes for one, you know, one of the best jerseys ever to be worn on the gridiron out on that field. And uh, this is a must have for anybody's collection, especially if you're a Chargers fan. But if you collect jerseys and you know you do everything football basketball baseball this is a must-have for your football collection man uh, this is the china run and i wanted the china run for a specific reason one time i went down the rabbit hole and was looking up a whole bunch of lance allworth jerseys and uh, at one point lance allworth did play for the dallas cowboys he won a super bowl with the dallas cowboys and uh he even caught a touchdown in that super bowl you know, so eventually I would like to find a Dallas Cowboys jersey, and which I think would be Roger Staubach, and convert it into Lance Allworth. And he also won a title with the Chargers pre-Super Bowl era, you know, with the Chargers. So, you know, at one point, this was the hottest jersey in the game. It was the number one seller for Mitchell and S for Peter Capolino. And we all know why. Just look at it. Beautiful, beautiful jersey. Uh... The reason why I also wanted the China run, the newer run, is because of the rounded collar. When I went down that rabbit hole and seen some game-worn jerseys, they had rounded collar jerseys. And now I'm going to give you a reason why I did don't have an older run, but I do own an older run. Here you have your 1968 Lance Arbor. And as you can see, you have that V-neck on the jersey, and that isn't what I wanted when I saw that Mitchell Ness with the China run was... Uh, doing the rounded collar i was determined to find uh, a newer run a china run jersey because i wanted it to be more closer to how it was worn on field mitchell ness sometimes has a good job at uh being close to what they wore on field and then other times they do a bad job you win some you lose some but you know i'm glad that they corrected this back in the day they did wear doreen jerseys so uh, if you'll notice, the light kind of dances along the material on the jersey. As far as that, you know, it relates to this jersey. Back in the day, they wore Doreen. And Doreen, uh, anybody who knows who has owned an older Mitchell and Ness jersey, them Doreen jerseys, the, the light dances on them even without, you know, I have this halo right here giving me a lot of light. Uh, but the light just dances off those jerseys. And at one point, supposedly, the material of Doreen dried up, which is a fallacy, which is false. Um, shout out to Evan Fields Flannel. Uh, they are making Doreen jerseys, and they have the 1960, I think, uh, L.A. Chargers. But, you know, it's Doreen. So to mimic the Doreen, uh, Peter Capolino had these jerseys, which they what they're doing right now, made in full polyester. So it still kind of gives off that Doreen look you know to have the light make this jersey look shiny you know and dance so now let's get to more of the details of this jersey here goes your jock tag nice beautiful jock tag clean i like that the football jock tag hasn't changed really much in over a decade compared to the basketball 63 lance allworth size large uh 19 white on yellow double stitch on the sleeve of course on both sleeves you're going to have a double stitch lightning bolt and you're going to have 19 as well double stitch and then on the back 
We have Allworth in white, single stitched on the nameplate. And then of course, same thing on the back as it is the front, double stitch 19, big, big old numbers on the back, back of that jersey. Uh, well, beautiful man, classic jersey. Hopefully we can uh, get a closer look at the, the details of the jersey. So, like I said, I said that I would uh I would pump out three videos. I would get these vi I would uh, get these videos out and uh, show some jerseys out of collection. I will see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed the jersey. Uh, I'm kind of I'm glad to have completed the set. This is an older career run, the only run uh, that Mitchell Ness has of this one. But you know, set complete. So, hope you enjoyed the jersey. 1963 San Diego Chargers, Lance Allworth. Uh, big credits to him and his career. He actually did a mass over 10,000 yards as a receiver, and that's amazing. And considering the fact that he played in an era where bump and run was the thing and there was no pass interference past five yards, so, you know, that that's a the hell of a feat for back in the day, you know. So, hope you enjoyed the jersey. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'm out.